you know, you had the seasoning. I just added a little paprika and then cayenne pepper. You know what I'm saying? Add a little <laughs> That's it. Old Bay. Put a little Old Bay on it. You know what I mean? I truly feel like the color purple is so meaningful to our generation because it's a message of hope and joy. I'm proud to be a part of my generation because I feel like that is a theme that we are all about. We're all about changing our future and not just staying in this stagnant way things used to be. When you see that message come across in this beautiful film of somebody rising out of the darkness, it really gives you that extra kind of spark to go for your own life. You know, we're the generation where hopefully our people have come before us, the sisters, the mothers, the fathers, the uncles, they are going to be the ones that have gone through the turmoil so we can kind of just live out the dreams they didn't get to achieve. Black men have felt estranged from this property because they didn't feel like they got a fair shake in the past. We talked so much about what it means to make sure that young black men have an aspirational character yeah. to look at because we're a gradient, right? We, we go from the extreme to, to, to the most lost to the most found, we're a gradient. And so the job was to make sure that we were honest in showing these depictions, right? We know old mister will never change. We know mister has the possibility, possibility. but has to work hard at it. We know Harper is much closer to the possibility. Yeah. So it was important that we show that gradient. And I, when I sit in the theater and I watch how men respond, and again, all this, remember, never undermining our women's story. That was the purpose, because yes. Al lifts it. The way that I look at this film is a cinematic heirloom. That's mm. what I think mm. of it. It's mm. something mm. that is, gets passed down from mm. generations that you wow. cherish. Wow. Woo! You know, I love you that. I will be quoting you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, I'm taking that. As Daniel Brooks says, it's a cinematic heirloom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The Color Purple changed my life, y'all. I mean, from the moment I read, Dear God, I'm 14 years old, please tell me what's happening to me. Mm. I got up and went back to the bookstore and bought every copy in the bookstore. That was long before there was Oprah's Book Club. It was 1983. <laughs> and I handed it out to everybody I knew. And then months later, I heard there was going to be a movie about it and I was just determined I was going to find a way to get myself in that movie. I was that person on set like no matter what was going on I was there every day every day I just wanted to be a part of it and it changed the way I saw myself in the world because being able to see Alice Walker, Steven Spielberg so impassioned about their work I decided that's how I want to live my life. I want to live my life in that kind of impassioned space. We wanted to make you proud. Yes. And you have done so much for culture and for little girls, brown girls everywhere who, who were forgotten about. Who were forgotten about, who didn't have examples to dream. Your presence meant everything because you gave us the green light. But the thing I will never ever forget, that first day, we did the electric slide. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And that is what our culture is about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we ended that first day doing the electric slide. It set the tone for the rest of the production. Wow. So I want to thank you for yeah. that. Yeah.